Hey Heartlanders! In this video, I interviewed Caitlin Lieb, who played veterinarian and also Caleb's wife, Cassandra Fay, in seasons 6 through 13. She told us some great behind the scenes stories and why she left Heartland after season 13. Watch this. Yeah, I actually, um, I left in season, or after season 13 um, because COVID hit and I had just had a newborn baby and I really just didn't feel comfortable flying with my newborn, like, you know, to Alberta to shoot and stuff like that. So um, that was, that was the end, but I don't even know, like, has she, is Cassandra around? <laughs> I know I have well, a baby there somewhere. It, well, interestingly enough, they just said in a, in a I hope the spoiler alert people watching this who haven't seen season 16, but um, that Cass and Caleb are getting a divorce or they are oh. considering it. And she's visiting her parents while he's watching the little boy. Um, Got it. Yeah, Carson. And Carson. So, but it doesn't mean they necessarily are getting divorced. You never know with Heartland. I mean, because Peter's back. Yes. Yeah, you never know. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And so it could even be with season 17, like all of a sudden Cass is back and, you know. Yeah. They're getting, they're trying to reconcile or Ashley shows up and there's like a big, you know, fight between the two of them. Who knows? Totally. Yeah, exactly. That Some would be drama. really cool. For sure. It would be, it'd be, uh, it'd be great drama. That's for sure. That would be really neat because they both, they make both of your personalities for your characters so similar in the show. Yeah. It would yeah. Be, <laughs> you're so sweet in real life. I was scared. I'm like, is she going to be like the cast on the show? And it's going to be like. <laughs> Snark. No, oh my gosh, no. Cass, Cass is like a little firecracker for sure. But um, awesome. I mean, I loved playing her. She was, she was so much fun. But no, I'm yeah. very different. <laughs> I know. I love the like how on Heartland, she's one of my favorite characters. She's like a strong, you know, female character, and that's so cool yeah. to see. When I first got on the scene, people weren't exactly thrilled with Cass. I think they thought that she was going to be interested in Ty and break yes, up, you yeah. know, Amy. Yeah. And so I don't think people were really into her that first season, but that's not, you know, I don't think that was ever in Cassandra's mind, but um, I, I really loved like her journey and, and how she became friends with Amy and just, yeah. you know, remained a very strong uh, female influence on the show. So yeah, very proud of that. I love that first season where uh, you're right. In the first season, she played this character where her and Amy, she wasn't, she was never interested in, in Ty, like you said. No. But she sort of wanted to make Amy annoyed because she didn't like Amy's attitude towards her, I think. Yeah. Excuse me? It's a procedure where the nerves are severed to eliminate sensation in the affected area. Yeah, I know what it is. But it's only going to make the problem worse because he can't feel the leg, so he's going to keep exercising on a lame leg. Well, it's worked miracles for some jumpers. What miracles have you seen where it's worked? I read this really interesting article a few months back. Oh, I I'm sorry, you've read about it? I think that their personalities totally clashed, at the, especially at the beginning. Yeah. Oh, God, I remember like looking back, we were so young. <laughs> Those pictures <laughs> look like little babies. It's funny for you to watch it now, but for people like me who watch like the old seasons all the time, I just think of you like that because I'm watching it like all the time. It's so, but yeah. like, the actors or the cast are like, or even the writers are like, yeah, way back in like season five. I'm like, way back. I just watched that yesterday. <laughs> Did you love being on the set? Yeah. Oh God. It's, it's the most beautiful set I've ever filmed on in my life. I mean, we had chance like filming in like the foothills of Alberta and you see the mountains in the background and the horses. I mean, it's just so, so, so stunning to shoot there. Um, yeah. So I was very lucky that I got to do, you know, exteriors and stuff like that. And a lot of times I was in the clinic, so we were in the studio, but I mean, Calgary was like a second home for me for all of those years because I was there so often. Um, and yeah, it's still, you know, one of the most, if not the most beautiful set I've ever shot on. I know some people have even said you and Graham left at the same time. Now, did you know much about what was going on with him and why he wanted to leave? I don't really know why he wanted to leave. I Because he was kind of in and out in the last couple of seasons, like he was in yeah. Mongolia and shooting and all that stuff. I never even got, I haven't seen Graham in so many years. It's crazy because we were always like scene partners together for so many years. And then yeah. I, you know, when I knew he was kind of trying to transition out, um, I never got a chance to actually sit down and talk with him. So I really don't know. I just, I think he had other things that he wanted to do and yeah. he was like writing a book and, and doing all these, he's such a jack of all trades and has his hand in everything. And 13 years to be on a show or to do anything is a long time. It is. It, it really is. I mean, when you're, you're doing, you know, there's, especially for an actor, maybe, you know, you just want to go on and explore other alternatives and other things. So. Yeah, I haven't seen him in forever, though. 
it would be so neat if he went back into acting and you guys could be in like a Hallmark movie together or something like that. We actually are in a, a Halloween movie together. No way. Yeah, like we were shooting Heartland and then um, we were off. I was shooting, I shot in Vancouver from about like January to March or April or something. I was the lead in um, this Halloween movie and then he walks in the production office and I was like, oh my God, Graham, like he was my, my like, second in command so uh we did a movie called grave halloween together and so you you had a lot of hallmark movies yes i have done uh, a fair share of those christmas and rom-com movies um yeah i've got one coming out I, I believe this year called right place right time but i don't know any premiere dates but yeah those are fun little you know three-week movies to shoot and people just love them so much i mean it's kind of like in the heartland world where yeah. it's it's safe you know people i think there's like so much darkness in this world <laughs> that people just kind of want to tune into something that is um makes them feel good you know and and i've had so many people say how much they love these christmas movies and they love these rom-coms and i just feel grateful that i get to do stuff like that that you know make people happy and so carrie james like how was it working with him um you know kj was great we uh we had a great relationship as yeah. well uh, actually the the episode that i tell him that um i'm pregnant i actually was <laughs> secretly pregnant with my second so it was really cool that it all kind of lined up like that wait secretly pregnant like they knew you were pregnant I don't think no 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 one no. knew it was I think I because I was really sick and nauseous and I had a really rough pregnancy with my second mm. one so um but yeah I secretly told Amber that day and, and I'm and I told Jessica as well so when I actually filmed that scene and told Terry James that I was pregnant I actually really was pregnant in real life <laughs> well it's not gonna be the two of us much longer well I'm pregnant, cowboy. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's sort of like um, Ken Fra. He's one of the writers on Heartland. And in season seven, he played a background actor. And like, no one really yeah. knew he was telling me about it. And then I went back and looked and it was so obvious that Amber and Graham both looked over, like at a certain point, right to where he was sitting. But like, if you didn't know that he was back there, you wouldn't, <laughs> you wouldn't know. You would, I know, I know. I know it's crazy. It's actually the scene where, or the episode where I get married to Carrie uh, or to Kayla when Cassandra gets married to um, to Kayla. My mom is actually my real mom was playing Cassandra's mom um, no. in the limo. Yeah, and so if you go back and look, that's actually my real mom because I had uh, just had my first baby, and so she was only a couple months old. So my mom flew back and forth with me to to Calgary when I was shooting. Obviously, I needed help, and so um, we handed the baby off to someone to help. And my mom got in wardrobe and hair and makeup, and she actually played Cassandra's mom. Are you just are you leaving me at the altar? That is so cool. Now, is your mom an actress as well? No, gosh, not at all. But they were just like, hey, your mom's here. What, you know, does she want to play? And she was like, oh my God, of course. Do that scene. Yeah, yeah. That is so cool. That's another really cool story. Yeah. I mean, Avery's been in, my 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 eldest has been in two little Christmas movies with me. Really? Um. Yeah, but it was more, that was like more for me. I mean, she was, one, she was like a baby baby. So she doesn't remember. And she played my niece. And oh. then the second one, she, I think like a background actor or this little actor didn't show up to set and she happened to be visiting me with my husband on set. And they were like, do you want to give her this role? And I was like, yes, please. <laughs> that would be amazing. So yeah, I mean, that's more for me and like my, you know, it's fun that we get to have that, those moments and that experience together on film. What, what is your like favorite memory about Heartland? Besides like, I know that story you told us about, like you were actually pregnant, which is really cool. But yeah, yeah, that was a fun story. Um, I think my favorite memories on Heartland were like learning how to ride a horse. Um, that was a lot of fun. Like I, I uh, learned how to ride Western on Heartland. And I think my favorite scene is us like riding, like it was um, Amber, Michelle, myself, Madison and Alicia. Were they like your best friends on set? Yeah, Amber was for sure. Yeah, Amber and I were really close um, when we shot. Uh, we kind of like, we got married the same year and like, we just, I don't know. We just really clicked, but she always said like, Oh, it's like, you know, you're so city and she's so country. We're very <laughs> different personalities. Um, but she was definitely my best friend on set. And I would, I would go over to her place like on the weekends and stuff like that. And she would take me riding and um, yeah, I, I love her. She's amazing. 
it's interesting because they almost like followed your story. Like you became really good friends with Amber and in the story, you guys become really good friends as well. And we both have the same agent and we're both June, born in June, both Gemini's. And we just had like, you know, some stuff in common as much as we had differences. Like, you know, she was, she's so country. I'm so city. And it kind of made her laugh, like, you know, how different we were, but yeah. And she's got a bit, like gosh she's got gorgeous horses and like a, a llama and bunnies and it's great I mean she's she's definitely a, an animal lover but I don't even know how many pets she has I know I have a dog actually my cat came from Heartland I have a little what? I I, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what season it was or what episode but um in the clinic we always had like animals or like you know dogs or kittens or like bunnies and stuff in the background of like, right. in the cages and stuff and there were these two little kittens they were white one had blue eyes and one had like a blue eye and a green eye and they were seven weeks old and, and the wrangler was like oh they need a home and I was like oh they were so cute I'm not even a cat person like at all this white beautiful white cat with blue eyes so I actually adopted her <laughs> oh wow she um yeah she's really cute I borrowed Amber's like uh, pet carrier to bring her back to Toronto. So I flew her home and yeah, she's my little heartland cat. Well, look, you, uh, you did a good job here and I just don't really have, you want your old job back? Um, like, do you think that's possible? Like, would you go back? If- heartland, I would love to go back and see everyone again. I really hope to, I could talk to you again if there's a season 17 and they, they write you back into the storyline, if they keep them together they reconcile or maybe whatever happens you never know what dramatic things could happen in Heartland yes definitely let me like you know let me know thank you so much for having me today it was so much fun to talk to you